Hey, Math Masters. As you know, we have finished our math book. So we're going to spend some time reviewing all the skills you've learned all year so you're ready for You're going to need your um, grade three preview and review standards, day one, page one. And how it's going to work now is every day we are going to do each day together. And then on Wednesdays, you will do one independently. Okay. And again, these are skills that you've learned the entire year. So here we go, day one, page one. Share away, here we go. Okay, we are gonna go through this together. Kind of like how we do a test review. I'm gonna pause sometimes when I want you to solve the problem and then we'll check together, okay? Mrs. Baker fills a drum with 25 liters of water. Then she fills another drum, that's our clue, with 19 liters of water. What is the total liquid volume of water in both buckets? The total, the altogether amount. So what are we going to do? Yep, we are going to add. Go ahead and solve it. And you should have gotten 44, okay? And again, some questions are gonna be easier than others, but it is a review. Amir buys three magnets on each of his vacation. He has a total of nine magnets. How many vacations has he gone on? What are we going to do? Are we going to multiply, add, subtract, or divide? He has a total of nine, so we can't get any bigger than nine because that's the total. So that right away says no adding and no multiplying because when you add and multiply, your answer gets bigger. We already have our altogether number, okay? He has a total of nine magnets and he buys three at each vacation, so I would Take my total of nine, divide it by three magnets for each vacation, and I get three, because three times three is nine. Hopefully that made sense to you. And these questions you have to read carefully. I know a lot of you probably said three times, not maybe not a lot, but some of you probably just said, oh, three times nine. But you have to read each question because each question is asking something different. He has a total of nine, so that tells you your number can't get bigger. Select all the objects. Oh boy, be circling that. Select, what does that tell us? Always more than one answer, never all. Select all the objects that have a mass less than one kilogram. And we know a kilogram is not too much, not too much weight, right? Kind of around the pound a little bit. So it does, it's not much. Less than one. A bed is heavy, so that's not it. A desk is pretty heavy, so that's not it. A racer, that's light. Sunglasses, they're pretty light. Plastic fork, light. Okay. What is the value of 376 rounded to the nearest 10? So if I'm rounding to the 10, I look at the ones, right? We've done this many times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, climb the vine. So my tens is gonna go up to 380. Gina had, oh, I have. Gina has framed pictures of sports stars. I do, has, I have 16 of them, okay. She places an equal number. Remember, I box my clues. Equal number, that right away tells us we're probably going to do what? Let's see. She places an equal number of pictures on each four shelves. How many pictures of sports stars are on each shelf? All right, so I have 16 pictures all together. So my number's not gonna get bigger, right? So I know right away, I'm either 
dividing or subtracting. I'm not adding or multiplying because my number is going to get bigger. Now, as I talk, if you know what to do and you can go ahead and solve it, do that. If you need the instruction, the reminder, right? 16, so I'm not gonna get bigger, so no adding, no multiplying. If I'm putting an equal number on each shelf, I am, you're putting things into equal groups, that is, you are correct, division. And 16 divided by four, you should know that because you should know four times four is 16. So my answer would be B. If you are still not good with your facts, you need to make sure you are drawing pictures. You would have four bookshelves and 16 total dots. So you would put dots in each one equally until you get to 1560. And that would tell you, you have four, okay? All right, let's move on. We've, we've seen this before and you will see it on, so it's good to practice. What is the value of 165 rounded to the nearest 10? So once again, we know if it's rounding to the nearest 10, we look at the ones and five, six, seven, eight, nine, climb the vine. So I'm gonna round that to it's gonna go up one ten stick, 170. So remember there, we color in one, we go down to seven, and then we color into zero. Remember the ones with the slashes are for the fractions. All right, number seven. Oh, we froze. What does it do that? Let me try it again. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just have to do a part two. Yep, it's not working. But we'll have to do a part two. See you in just a minute. And if you want to try to do some of these problems, since I'm having to fix my technology, go ahead and then you can check with me. Okay. 